Good afternoon. Hey, this is Bill with Polungi Lures and Tackle. And today we're going to be tying a kokanee bug. The materials that we use are number four Maruto pink UV sickle hooks, some UV beads, some UV uh, pink and orange legs. We use pink tying thread. UV fly finish, hot pink from Loom Outdoors, and some crystal flash. We'll be tying this on 10 pound Maxima line. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our setup tied up here. I've already cut and predetermined the length of the line. I usually do is about two and a half feet. Just thread it through the eye here. Hold on. I do nine wraps for a snell hook type setup and this is the easiest one i use because um, i've never had a line break and it's very easy to do whether you're at home or in the field and it holds up to uh, the fish biting and you can use it several several different times over and over and if it does get to where you need to replace the line, it's easy to do. So after I've tied my first hook, I take an orange UV bead and I thread it on along with another one that is pink UV and then followed by an orange again UV and slide it all the way down. Then what I do is I tie the next hook up from that. And what I'm going to do is come up from the bottom of the hook, slide it down to just above my bead to where I have a little bit of room. I try to tie the hooks backwards from each other. I think it produces a better catch more chances of a catch and again I wrap sorry here try not to make your wraps overlap each other because if they do they don't hold as well from that from that tie And once I do that, I pull it tight, slide up the, the tie there. And then what I do, is I take the whole setup out of the hook and I just wrap it around my fingers until I get it close to the shank of the hook. And then what I'll do is make several dozen little loops there so that when I'm tying it, it doesn't come undone. And if it does, it's no big deal. All you gotta do is just retie it up so from here i'm going to start with my pink uv thread and just get it on there like i normally would when i'm tying any other fly trim off the excess and then i try to hold this back end up of the hook and sh go all the way down till i get to the back of the shank Kind of helps hold <clears throat> it up in place a little bit better. Then I bring it all the way forward and over just a couple of those wraps. Now what I do is I want to take four of these pink and orange legs. They're speckled with like little black dots. So they really look lifelike when they're in the water. And what I do is I go just above the middle, I tie it in. It's not being very cooperative here. And I cinch down on it, a couple wraps. And then I take these other four and I rewrap them backward so that it gives me some Good spread of the legs. And 
and then I just bring that forward. Then I want to do is use some crystal flash that I've already pre-cut. It's about three inches or so. What I do is I get just about 20 strands or so and I try to tie it about midway. And just lock it in there. If I have a few get out, it's no big deal. And then what I do is I take the rest of them and pull them back over the legs. And then I tie this to make like <clears throat> almost it looks like another bead with several dozen wraps. I cut off this excess here. And then what I'm gonna do is just do some overhand ties to lock that thread in place. I use like a little bobbin here. Do it like three times, sometimes four. Tie that up really good. Trim off my excess and my line. Then what I do is shake this UV loom fly finish head. It's a, in hot pink. We use them on various different lures here. And what I do is I get a generous portion on that on that head. Make it look like a bug head. And then I lock it in with some UV light. It almost automatically makes it dry. Just a couple seconds on all the sides. And even though that's on your line, it doesn't do anything to compromise the strength of your line or anything like that. If anything, it helps it so it's not gonna come off. But there you have it. A uh, kokanee trolling fly. Again, you can see these on our site at pelagilures.com. And hope you'll shop our store. Thanks again.